We are currently in New Jersey, still in Navi. We've got a puppy. That's definitely been taking up a lot of my time and I have not been sleeping at all. Uh, but today, we're gonna be heading over to my friend's place. Uh, we put a solar system in his bus about a year ago. And I'm here with my friend Blake. Uh, we've met way back in high school, middle school, but he's been building out this bus for him and his wife. And the bus is completely finished. It's beautiful. The solar system was up and running and then the bus got struck by lightning. We're going to service the solar system, make sure it's all running. Try to get it done today or tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Try to make sure that this little puppy right here is like happy and bus happy. She did great on the drive here to Jersey. I think she's gonna be a good bus dog, but let's go check out this solar system and see what Blake's up to. Bus trip number two with the puppy did not go as well. She got car sick and threw up. It's okay. That was my fault. I fed you and then we went on a drive. She follows me wherever I go. Before we get up to Blake's bus, I'll give you a little rundown. Last time you guys saw this bus, it wasn't finished. It was just a gutted interior. Blake did a roof raise. He's a bit taller than me too, so it I makes sense. I feel standing here. Yeah, I could definitely stand in here. I mean, I could touch the ceiling barely, but he's like a, you know, got a little bit more height than me. And now it is a fully painted outside with a roof rack, solar panels mounted in the inside. I think it's actually really beautiful. He did a really good job on it. Uh, and this is probably a year and a half in after, um, still following me, a uh, year and a half in, so. I think him and his wife are gonna be hitting the road pretty soon, so they wanna get this whole thing tied up. And also, I wanna show you all an update of the bus and see what he's uh, done here. Come on, buddy. Hello, sir. Oh, what is going on? Dude, not much. You haven't been on camera in like a year and a half. Oh. And this bus definitely didn't look like this at all. No, no, we've been doing a little bit of work. Slow and steady. You wanna come on in? Yeah. Come, Come on, on in. in. Go explore another bus. Come on. Come on, I know, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, what I'm happened to the solar the system, why we're here, yeah. and then we'll figure out how we can fix right. it. I heard the loudest bang of my life, and I thought a bomb went off, and lo and behold, the bus got struck by lightning. So, I ran up to the bus, and uh, it was smoking, and now it doesn't work. That's what's going on. <laughs> So I haven't worked on it in the last few months because I've been mildly depressed over it. But whatever. <laughs> it's okay. Mike's we're, here now to fix we're it. We're going to figure it out. We're, we're going to fix it. So we're not sure exactly what what happened. Um, obviously, unfortunately, it could have done anything. He thinks it might have blown out even these lights and stuff just because of... Uh, you should have seen what it did to the building right there, actually. Uh, it... it destroyed i was here what a little bit after it happened yeah, and it just the inverter was totally gone i had to send that back yep. and they completely had to be replaced wasn't under warranty no lightning strikes are not under warranty in most electrical systems sorry guys if you're out there look up your warranties uh that's why we're here just to kind of help them out and fix it because it's unfortunate that it happened um, we're also going to try to get in here and kind of tidy it up, clean it up, uh, make it all running because Blake's and his wife, they're going to be having a baby soon. 30 days and counting. 30 days and counting. We have to get this electrical system up and running because that baby needs power and so does his wife. We're going to start digging into this. I have no clue what we're going to find and we'll figure out where we're going. And I don't know why she's growling. What are you growling about? We're doing electrical. You should be happy about this. <laughs> 1332. Okay. 1332. Nice. Okay, so we just gotta balance charge them. I just tested out each of these batteries. They're all showing 1332. So these batteries are probably somewhere around, uh, I don't know, 70%. We'll have to actually get the meter on them. Um, we're gonna have to boost these back up to 100%. I wanna make sure that everything's functioning, the BMSs are discharging and charging. Um, I have absolutely no clue what the lightning strike could have done to the system all that we do know is that he replaced the inverter already so i'm just gonna pretty much pretend like we're starting over uh and just kind of disconnect everything and just you know just make sure each thing's good because we might get this whole system running and one component might be bad one breaker might be bad and that could cause a lot of issues for him um, so we just want to go piece by piece and just test this thing through all right i went through the system got a good look at what's going on here how it was actually final installed from last time we were here after he built the whole thing out. 
Um, I'll give you a rundown on what the system's composed of. We've got four Battleborn batteries. They're 100 amp hours, so a total of 100 amp or 400 amp hours in lithium. Uh, we've got an MPPT. It's a 15085 Smart. And how many watts of solar do you have on the roof again? Do you remember? 1200. 1200 watts. 1200. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Enough. So we got 1200 watts up on the roof. Uh, we've got a 12 3000 Multi Plus. Um, a DC battery protect, and we're going to be having to put in an alternator. Uh, probably like a 12 12 30 Orion or something and that's gonna pretty much be his system It's definitely gonna be upgradable if he finds he needs it But for the most part uh, I just got to get this whole thing cleaned up It seems like everything's gonna work out and I'm sure he's glad to hear that because I that's the first time I said that totally you know. stoked. Yeah <laughs> Okay, so I got the batteries are unwired from over there. We're going to be shifting all of the input wires and the battery output wires into a uh, shunt system uh, or into a bus bar system. We're not going to be using a Lynx in this case. Um, if you guys know what a Lynx is from the Victron systems, we're just going to be using a custom bus bar uh, that we're going to make. And then we're going to wire it all in right here and keep the cost a bit lower. Uh, Blake's starting to rewire the batteries back together. So we might be able to test this thing up pretty soon. It won't be finaled because we might be waiting for some parts, but we can at least get this cleaned up and tested to see what this lightning strike truly did or did not do. Hopefully it was just the inverter that he's already once again replaced. Puppy's still sleeping. Blake's in better spirits. Batteries are all tested and wired. We just gotta, we're gonna charge them back up to 100% with a charger, but right now they're, they're, you know, they're good to go that we can use in the test. Uh, this is the next rat nest, rat nest, rat's nest that we're going to dive into. Uh, figure out what's going on in this area and exactly how we want to kind of finish it up and clean it up. But uh, everything's, yeah, once again, still looking good. We got it all back together. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see if she works now. <laughs> All right, so systems kind of back together. Right now we have a temporary bus bar in there. Uh, some of you may recognize that as just a fuse holder. Um, it has non-continuity, so they're separate poles. Uh, so right now we're using these. We're gonna be ordering actual like four position bus bars for all these wires. That's just not in at the moment. So we've temporarily put this together just so we can start testing out the system. And then all the wires down bottom, we can tighten up, clean up, and then get them into an official bus bar kind of situation. But for now, we're gonna turn on the on switch and see what happens. Literally. Um, oh, DC protect. Lights. Lights, baby. Yes. There we go. Woohoo! You can see in here now. That's gonna be, wow, this is beautiful. The system's mostly together, so I'll give you guys a quick little synopsis of what's going on. So we've got the batteries in here. They're wired. The most positive is down at the bottom. The most negative is right there. Those two wires come over. We've got our positive going into our 400 amp fuse, over to our on off, down to our makeshift, currently makeshift bus bar that's gonna get switched. The negative comes into our shunt, and then the shunt goes down to our most negative. We got our negative positive terminals right there, and then boom, we branch out into positive to our multi plus, positive to our MPPT, positive over to our battery protect or and DC panel, and then same thing with the negatives, they go all over. And then we've got some communication cables and that's pretty much everything else you see. Uh, this right here is our 30 amp input. It goes from the 30 amp shore power on the side of the bus into this breaker. There's a 30 amp breaker that goes into the multi plus and then the multi plus has another wire that comes out of it that goes over into boom, that box right there, which is their AC output distribution box. And then you can see some Romex down there where the wires come out. And because of all this and how it functions, we've got a whole bunch of lights and everything works. The only thing that I still have to do on the list, which we were just working on the list, I'm sitting on the list, <laughs> is uh, I've got to program the MultiPlus for the Battleborn batteries. Uh, we're going to be adding in an alternator charger. So we're gonna be looking at putting in like an Orion or a Sterling unit. And then 
um, I got to install new grounds. Uh, there's no grounds currently off of the main system at this point because we just disconnected them all. So I'm going to have to get a main system ground from the Multi Plus and the MPPT over into our shunt there and then down to the chassis ground. Blake is currently working on as we're testing out the solar panels uh, to make sure that the MPPT up to the solar panels are currently functioning. Uh, when the bus got struck by lightning, it is potentially likely that um, he lost his upper solar panels uh, where the bus was actually struck. So we're going to take the solar panels off, disconnect them, uh, make sure there's voltage coming out of each panel that's the correct voltage and then put them all back together and get the MPPT working. Hopefully the MPPT works because that's an expensive component and we don't want to be changing it. Blake. You're on AC. Not trying. Right. Uh, what you showing? Negative 6.63. Oh man, your panel might be fried. Yeah. So you still got some more wires to put in, some more panels to mount, but we're wondering if this one's alive. Stick those guys. Left is positive, right is negative. Yep, 22.7. 22 yep. So that panel's fried. That panel looks like that panel up there is fried. The sun's going down, but we've got 2.65, 2, 1.8. So we've got power coming in. There's just simply no, I mean, there's just no sun. Good news is, is it doesn't look like his MPPT's fried and that he just simply lost a panel. All right, we're back here on Blake's bus. We've got all the parts that came in. So we've got our new bus bars. We've got our chargers. Uh, Blake is currently unwiring the battery so that we can put the charger on them and get these all brought up to float like we were talking about the other day. Uh, only issue with this charger right here is I accidentally got the isolated one. If you guys don't know, uh, Victron specifically has two different models. It's the non-isolated and isolated. You can see on this one there's four ports in the bottom. The non-isolated has three ports. The reason is, is this one, if you have a bus, you don't want to use because this one is meant for trailers, uh, fifth wheel campers, you know, tow behinds, things like that. Uh, you want the non-isolated one if you have the motor and batteries attached to the chassis because it's one ground system, whereas this one has two negatives because it's supposed to separate through uh, the trailer hitch. Step one right now is get the batteries charged up and then we're going to get over here and start uh, adding in the alternator connection and switching out that old bus bar. All right, Blake, we've got a, a nice bus bar system that we can start hooking into. Almost you, there. You did a great job on it. It looks okay. it looks a lot better and safer than what it looked like, you know, even 20 minutes ago. Uh, next step is using this really fun, huge wire. Uh, we're gonna run the ground from the inverter over, the MPPT over, and then our main system ground somewhere, somewhere back there that he already has a hole to the chassis. Uh, but we're going to start the grounding system and then uh, move on to the next thing. Right there. Gina's going to laugh at this. <laughs> All right, so we just got the component in the mail, so the correct one. Ayo. So now we have our three ports instead of the four ports, so we can install this one. We officially have the entire system is turned on. Uh, in the previous day, we already programmed the MPPT, the BMV, the battery protect, all that stuff. Um, all the batteries are up into their storage position, so we just turned on the system. These lights are all on, the 12 volt system's working. We have the inverter on currently, um, but I gotta plug it into a computer and check all the parameters on it and make sure that they're set for Battleborn batteries because this was a replacement from the lightning strike. Uh, but besides that, got the new bus bars in, uh, got all the new grounds in. And I think the only thing left besides programming is we have to go on the roof and get a few panels mounted. Last three panels. Last three panels and then we're pretty much good to go. Let's get to programming and then we'll head up to the roof. Hey, guess what? Besides mounting and screwing a couple things down, you're we're technically done. done. Sweet. It's about time. Yeah, right? Super thankful. So, the bus is pretty much done. Uh, Blake's got a couple screws to put in, a couple things to mount down, but in terms of programming, system, testing, everything, uh, we're good to go. So, I'm just gonna head inside, clean up some tools, but 
Blake's got a working bus in the next one. I don't know where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing, but I'll see you in that one. See ya.